Welcome back everyone and if it's your first time watching, welcome to Carp Gurus. As you can see, I'm here today in the car and I am literally minutes away from setting off on yet another carp fishing adventure. So where am I going? I am going for a 48 hour session at Cudmore Fisheries. My dad will be joining me and so will my dog Rico. Tight line. Here we are people, I am now set up at Cudmore Fisheries. So I'm set up on a lake that's called Avoca. Um, I've fished it a lot in the past and I have caught a lot of 20 pound uh, plus carp from here. So yeah, it can be a prolific water, um, but to be honest, I've not fished it for a while. So that's why I wanted to uh, do a session here. So yeah, here I am. I'm in this nice looking swim with three islands and the way I'm rolling with it is um, as I arrived, there was a gentleman with his friend packing up in this swim. Um, they'd been here for 24 hours and both of them had blanked. So I asked them what their approach was, basically so I could do the opposite. And I found out that they was um, fishing all rods tight to the island. And yeah, it didn't work for him. So I thought, I'm not going to jump in a swim, copy someone who's blanked. It doesn't make sense. It's not logical. So what I decided to do was, I've set up in this swim, but rather than fishing to the islands, I'm fishing towards uh, this island in front of me, yeah? But rather than fishing tight to it, I'm around a rod and a half off it. So I've got one rod there and the other rod at the side of it. So the side by side, both one and a half rods off the island, um, and the fishing in around six foot of water. So that's my approach. Um, and yeah, I feel confident with where the baits are. Uh, the baiting approach over those rods is um, a large spread of boiler. So I did that using the throwing stick. Uh, I say large spread, um, it's probably around a kilo. So some might say it's a lot, some might say it's not. Um, but for me, I think it's a nice amount. The conditions are good. And yeah, I've put a kilo of boiler out over both rods. In regard to the setups, it's the usual basic lead clip setups. And then the rigs are basic hair rigs um, with a supple braided hook link. The bait is um, boiler, 18 millimeter. Usual flavor I'm confident in at the moment, which is the Rod Hutchinson Monster Crab. And before I've cast out, I've added a three bait stringer. Um, so I've done that on both rods and both rods are now staying out till the morning um, So yeah, I am feeling confident of fish during the night when I do catch in the night Obviously, you will be the first to know about it. If I don't my next update will be in the morning I am over the moon this beautiful fish has just been caught at around 11 p.m. and it's my common personal best new common personal best 24 pound one taking on the tactics that you know i love fishing over a large spread of boiler monster crab boilies by rod hutchinson and this is the result 24 pound one and i am one happy man <laughs>
Good morning people, it's now time for another update. So it's around 10am and we just have the one fish to report. Uh, my dad hasn't done anything, he's in the top corner, I'll show you some of his swim later on today. He's not caught anything, um, he's going after the cats, um, nothing's happened. Uh, and in regard to myself, as you know, I've had the one fish which was the PB common at £24.1. So, plan of attack today, what I've done, I've put both rods back out on the spot, side by side, both fished uh, around one and a half rod lengths off the island. I've topped up all the boiler around the area, so I've done another spread of boiler over the two rods, and that's gonna be me sitting it out today. <laughs> Here we are once again and it's now time for another update. So it's around 4pm and this is the view from my bivvy. In regards to today, nothing has happened at all, it's been absolutely dead. Um, we have had some um, difficult conditions really, it's been really up and down so for example one minute it's been raining, then it's been bright sunshine, then it's been raining then it's been bright sunshine so yeah i think that's made the fishing um a little bit harder today because it has been dead um same goes for my dad nothing at all for him still dead in that end of the lake um so yeah we're still basically on the one fish which was the pb common um which i caught last night so that's where we're at um in regard to what i'm doing am i changing anything what are my tactics um, I decided with the weather being so up and down I decided to just stick to my baited area and keep topping up the baited area with the spread of boilies and I'm doing that basically thinking about the fish moving in during the night um, so yeah that's when I think it's going to happen if I get something in the day obviously I'll let you know about it and obviously that's good but yeah I do think if it's going to happen in this swim it's going to be in the night when the weather cools down and hopefully it could be a big hit of fish because there's a fair bit of bait out there now and uh, yeah I'm fishing the same area where I caught the PB common so I don't see why it couldn't happen again tonight so let's see how it goes it's all to play for um, my dad's doing the same He's persevering with his baited areas and that's what we're doing. So yeah, I'll check in with you um, as we head into the evening. But other than that, ciao for now. Here we are people, it's that time again, it's update time. So it's now around half 9pm and there is absolutely nothing to report. It's been dead all day for me, dead all day for my dad. But the positive is I'm still confident as we head into the night and last night was when I caught the PB common, it was around 11pm. 
so yeah i do feel that with the weather we've had today the night is going to be the feeding time or feeding spell um so yeah i'm still confident as we head into the night i've stuck to the same areas which is both rods fished a rod and a half length off the island and they're fished over the spread of boiler i've topped that up every couple of hours with the catapult i used a throwing stick earlier but now i've used a catapult um, I'm using a Drennan catapult by the way, I definitely recommend it, it's very powerful and I'm getting the boilies, 15mm uh, and 18mm, 60-70 um, yards, no problem. So yeah, I do recommend that, but anyway, back to what I'm doing, um, yeah, so same spots, topping up the spread of boilie every couple of hours and I'm expecting action during the night. In regards to my dad, um, he's still not caught anything, but he's being positive, he's persevering, and he's seeing carp um, in his area, which is obviously a good thing. So yeah, when there's something to report to you, obviously I'll get back to you whether I have a fish or my dad has a fish. If nothing happens, I'll catch up with you in the morning, but let's stay positive and hope we can come back to you during the night with a big fat carp on the map. Good morning everyone and as you can see I am now back in the car all the gear is packed up and this is the end of the session. Um, there was no updates for you last night as nothing happened for me and nothing happened for my dad but what I will say is overall it's been a very positive experience fishing at Cudmore Fisheries and I am still buzzing with my new PB Common. So yeah, this is me checking out. As always, thank you for watching Carp Gurus. And remember, like, share, subscribe and hit that bell icon. See you soon. Carp Gurus.